How many ounces of breast milk does my baby need? How to calculate it? And how to know if baby's getting enough? Let's go. Hi, Mommy. My name is Mary Cahill, and I'm a certified lactation counselor. I use correct and easy to understand information to help mommies like you to be confident and successful in their breastfeeding journey. If you're feeding baby exclusively from the breast, there's no need to worry about how many ounces baby needs. As long as baby is growing well, alert, and has six or more wet diapers every 24 hours, you know they're getting enough. The same goes for babies who are bottle fed breast milk. You will need to know about how many ounces to be able to have enough on hand for baby, but you'll know baby's getting enough if baby is growing well, alert, and having those six or more wet diapers every 24 hours. If your baby's receiving pumped breast milk in a bottle, you will need to know about how much to have on hand. A newborn baby up to one month old takes in about two to three ounces every three hours. So that's a little less than one ounce an hour up to one ounce an hour. A one month old to six month old baby eats an average of 24 ounces every 24 hours. Now that's gonna sound a little crazy that it won't change much from one month to six months, it stays about the same, 24 ounces every 24 hours. Breast milk is just utilized by baby's body a little differently. So they don't need more as they age. Some days they'll take in a little bit more or less. It could be as low as 18 ounces and as high as 30 ounces every 24 hours. Formula fed babies need more as they age. So here's how you can do the math. Look at how many times, on average, your baby eats every 24 hours and divide 24 by that number. So if your baby eats 12 times every 24 hours, you know they're taking in about two ounces a serving. If your baby eats eight times every 24 hours, you know they're taking in about three ounces a serving. This will help you to know about what your baby will need, but keep in mind it can vary each feeding. Baby won't always want three ounces at a time. They might want four ounces now, and in a couple hours, just one ounce. So it'll vary, but on average, you'll kind of get an idea of how much baby will need. When baby receives breast milk in a bottle, they should be fed in a paste feeding. If you're not familiar with what paste feeding is, I'll link a video right here for you. Paste feeding is the way to slow down baby's eating to mimic breastfeeding. When baby eats from the breast, they might take 15 to 30 minutes to eat. But when they eat from a bottle, they might eat in five or 10 minutes. So it just slows the feeding down so it mimics the time at the breast. When baby gets the bottle too quickly, then they get used to the bottle and they don't wanna go back to the breast. Plus, they take in more milk than they should have and you're wasting breast milk. When baby gets milk in a bottle, the milk comes in so quickly into their mouth. When baby eats from the breast, they suck from the breast and then they swallow. When baby eats from a bottle, they suck. And then when they swallow, more milk comes in right away into their mouth because it comes in so easily. So when a baby is pace fed, part of that is also that the nipple is usually a slow flow nipple or a newborn nipple. I'm gonna link down below some bottles that I really like for breastfed babies if you wanna check those out. If your baby's eating about every two hours, then you know they're eating about two to three ounces a serving. You can package up your breast milk in three ounce servings. Or if you know that your care provider knows how to properly handle your breast milk, you could let them fill the bottles. So they might put two ounces in a bottle and if baby's still hungry, they can always add another ounce. This way you won't waste any breast milk. If you're not sure that they understand proper breast milk storage, I have a video on breast milk storage I'll link above. If you're a pumping mom, you might worry that you're not pumping enough breast milk. Sometimes fear and doubt come in when really you're doing a great job. If you're not sure, ask for help right away. I have a video on increasing my milk supply and I'll link that right, right there. And in that video, it will tell you if your milk supply truly is low, and if so, 
how to increase it. In the description below, I'll put a link to my private moms group if you'd like to check that out. I hope this video has been super helpful for you, Mommy. If it was, can you give me a thumbs up? As always, Mommy, you got this.